And now to an interview you'll see only on Local 12 News, a local mother who won the right to change her transgender, transgender son's name is speaking publicly for the first time about winning the court fight. And Jeanette Levy sat down with Lee Whitaker and two other mothers whose children's names changes have now been approved. But I just felt like we had to do this for Elliot. Last summer, we introduced you to Lee Whitaker and her husband, Kylan, as they appealed a ruling by Judge Joseph Kirby, denying their request to change their transgender son's name to Elliot. And we felt that we had come to the right decision and what was best for our child, and then we were told, no, that's wrong. Elliot had been under the care of the transgender clinic at Children's Hospital. But during the hearing, Judge Kirby questioned Elliot at length about whether other students at school were like him and brought up Caitlyn Jenner's transition. Then last month, Ohio's 12th District Court of Appeals sided with the Whitakers. I texted Elliot right away at school and he, he was like, what? No way. Just felt like, um, I guess, acceptance and he can be who he is now. The judges wrote the court abused its discretion by failing to consider appropriate best interest factors before it denied the name change application. Elliot received his legal name change immediately, paving the way for other transgender teens. When, when, when your child comes to you and says, I don't want to live in this body anymore, um, nothing else matters but keeping them alive. Cheryl Oshevsky's son, Rin, was the first teen to receive his name change after the appeals court decision. The judge was very kind and uh, interviewed my son almost entirely directed questions to him. He's much more at, at ease and um, is graduating high school this year. He's making really good grades this term. And two weeks ago, Jamie Shaw received his name change from Judge Kirby. And my husband stood up and said, do you mind taking a picture with our family? Him getting his name change was like, I say it, it's, it's the beginning of start of positive things for his life. The three mothers fight led to change in the courtroom, which will make things easier for other transgender teens. And I'm just very glad that, 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 that he's not asking those sorts of questions anymore because they aren't really relevant to the question of whether a child gets a name change. Now, those three mothers also filed a federal lawsuit, but that was dismissed. I reached out to Judge Kirby to see whether he wanted to say anything for this story, but his staff told me he wouldn't comment. The decision from the appellate court outlines what a judge should be asking when considering a name change application for a minor. Rob? And Jeanette, thanks very much. You can read more about each family's particular story at local12.com.